Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. And if you're not, and if you need it, here is a big gigantic man hug just for you. Ah, right, so let's get into today's video. Today, we're going to be creating an earth chain in an effects pedal. So this is how I do my earthing on my um, guitar pedals. So if you're building guitar pedals, uh, this is how I like to earth them. So essentially the earth from our power supply or battery, depending on what you're using, um, we're just chaining that out to every component that needs an earth. Yeah. Um, so we're going to our jacks, then our foot switch, um, and then this loose wire will be going to our circuit. If these sort of videos are stuff you like, please stick around, subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know down below if you enjoyed it, if it helps you. Um, the, the footage was filmed on my GoPro using an external mic, so the film quality might not be great, but hopefully you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you after that. Thank you very much. So yes, we're gonna look at wiring in an earth loop. Now, you can do this using um, dot boards as well. I suppose it just saves, I think it's a bit neater. It just saves having all your ground wires coming down to your dot board. Um, for your foot switch, it's just, it's just so much simpler, just to daisy chain. Um, so the first place I'm gonna start is my foot switch. Now, um, anyone that has seen me build pedals knows that I like to be awkward. A new single car, make it look a little fancy. Okay, but you can use anything you want. Um, I'm actually changing from single car uh, to um, pre-bonded whenever I actually run out of this stuff, which won't be too long, I don't think. So, um, I also apologize if I um, come out of focus or out of shot or anything like that. I just, more you want to see what's happening in the pedal rather than what's happening on the outside. This is probably not gonna be that neat wiring. I'll probably redo it. But for the purposes, like I say, of this video, we're just gonna um, wire it in. So there's a couple of different foot switch wiring out there if you're doing um, foot switches without a data board. And I'll be um, doing a video on how I wire up my foot switches. If you're interested in that, it'll be on the channel some point soon. All right, so yeah, it's not neat. But that's my, just getting my first wire in there. My first point. Yeah, so this is the only point in this earth chain that I do that connects to the foot switch. Um, the only other earth that will come into this foot switch will be there, which will be for the LED. Now I use a gas soldering iron. And I really don't like this solder that I'm using at this moment in time, but I will get some more at some point. So yeah, um, I'm also resting it on a black star amp so that you get a better view. It's, it's, I just find it easier to do these kind of videos with my GoPro. Um, so, if if the pedal is on the the, the surface, um, this, this worktop surface, I, I find it real hard balance to um, get a decent picture. So there. Strip that there. Right. Like 
because they are on the insert. Before I sell it. Hello, my little buddy. Hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. Building a pedal, mate. What are you doing? Hmm? Talking. Are you talking? Yeah, Daddy is talking. So that's that wire in. God damn it. I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> right, so the next link we're going to the actual earth on the power supply. So, bye. <laughs> the joys of pedal building with a toddler. It's watching dinosaurs. So that's a bit too long. This is not my neatest work, especially doing it here. But as this is for demo purposes, well, you know, tutorial purposes. There we go. Probably shorten this down as well a bit because the clock's already saying six minutes. the next one is going from our earth log on the power supply to the next earth log and that is quite a short wire so this might be um, a bit awkward it's the only thing when you're um, dealing with uh, top mounted and neatness And that was a bit of a struggle getting that in there. <laughs> that was fun getting in. There we go. Yeah, trim off that excess. Now, I'll trim that about there, and then strip that little bit off there. <laughs> the joys of trying to do YouTube tutorials with a toddler and a wife playing hide and seek. So there, that one's in like so. And then the last piece of the puzzle will be an earth. Now I know I'm putting an Acapulco gold in here. My earth will be on this side of the Vero board, so I can take it off off there. My little man is currently hiding from the wife. <laughs> so that says 
iron on wire in there. There we go. And then we finish shouldering this. And that is our earth loop. Now, like I say, you can do that with a dart board by um, most dart boards. Do, 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 do. I think I might have a dart board. Ah, yes. So you can do that with dart boards as well. Yeah, so here's a dart board here. Now, you can see it has a lot of, this is from my buddy Fuzzbeard. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of ground um, connections on there, but you could literally just connect one ground onto that, you know, from there, and then have that to your um, PCB or, or Vero or whatever. Um, and I know that's not as neat as I'd like it, but I'll tidy it up off camera. All right, back to you in studio. So there we go. There is this earth chain all wired into this pedal. Um, it's just quite a nice, like Batman with crackle effect enclosure. Mm, uh, yes, I think it's going to be an Acapulco gold. We, we, we shall see. We shall see. Um, I've wired it up at a minute for Acapulco gold, but that could change. Could change in a heartbeat. You never know. Right. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, let me know that you did enjoy this video and I'll keep making them because I honestly really, really, really enjoy doing these videos. Um, so I'll keep doing them regardless if you subscribe or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so that's it for me. Thank you very much. So over here, we'll be seeing some playlists, latest videos and a bit of a subscribe button and all that sort of jazz because if you've made it this far, you're part of the Elusive 5% Club. And... Uh, YouTube tells me that only 5% of the viewers actually make it towards the end of this video. And if you did make it here, click through one of these little links and uh, it really does help our channel just get pushed on the algorithms. So, right, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.